Okay, I wanted to go through the kitchen one more time. We have two cabinets here. <coughs> that is 12 inches deep with flush toe kicks. We have a cabinet here with a drawer, two doors, and two rollout trays behind the doors. We have a super lazy Susan in the corner. The tray looks, there's two trays that look like this. One's on a, both of them on fixed shelves. Swing the door open this way. This door is on a bifold, so there's hinges here and in the middle of the door. We have extended styles on this cabinet, and this cabinet, and this cabinet uh, to allow room so this uh, door here doesn't hit this knob here and this door here can swing open without hitting this knob. There's one over here, extended style is basically a built-in filler so you don't lose the cabinet space but this gives the this door here a little more swinging room so it doesn't hit the, it will probably hit that uh, the microwave but it, I can put a hinge restrictor on this door but it gives that door a little more wiggle room. This cabinet here has a drawer on top and a door and at the bottom will be a, ro a single rollout tray down the bottom. This cabinet here has a drawer and a pullout that has two trash bins. We've got a valance going across the window and a shelf on top that allows you to store items on top of the shelf over the window. The farm sink cabinet. This is a 36 wide farm sink cabinet and the sink I would get is a K6427. This is a double bowl sink but they come in single bowls too so it will be a different sink. The reason why I would get it is because it makes it easier to install because I have a little bit of a flange right here on this sink. This sink is a cast iron sink so it would have to be uh, cradled. Cradling a sink is about $150 over and above the cost of installing the cabinets. We have a dishwasher, bank of drawers, four of them. There's a panel on the left side of the refrigerator and then there's a refrigerator wall cabinet above the refrigerator. I would recommend a countertop depth refrigerator in this area. You can see the wall cabinet here to the right of the window. Now as far as pricing goes, on the left is the Norcraft pricing, on the right is the Starmark pricing. You can see the various numbers. doesn't look like I've added the uh, cradling so it depends on what kind of a sink you pick out. If you pick out a cast iron sink then I have to cradle it. If you don't pick out a cast iron sink, if you pick out a stainless steel, a steel sink that uh, uh, isn't a farmer sink then that would save you some money. Usually a cast iron sink is between a farmer's sink, cast iron sink is between eight and nine hundred dollars roughly. You could probably buy that online um, for that amount. Uh, sinks, undermount stainless sinks, I can get them a good one for around $400. And I can certainly send you what sink options I offer. But 
the biggest variable is this guy here. These stay the same regardless of what cabinet line you pick. And as far as the countertop goes, this is your various pricing, but obviously I have to update the pricing based on the color selected. But you could start at 2438 and then spend as much as $5,300 for the same size kitchen. So there's various prices there. Feel free to pause the video if you want to go over this pricing. But these are the two options that I've put together. Uh, if you want to see a third option, let me know. And this is using the hickory cabinetry.